Hi guys, so I'm doing something a little bit different today, kind of spontaneous. Way back there, I am getting an oil change, right? And uh, it's gonna be about two hours, so what better place to go than SeaWorld? Probably one of the more spontaneous little excursions I've taken in a while, but let's do it. I came from right down there, that's where I crossed the street. And right here, you can kind of see the tippy top of Mako. Uh, then right over there, you can see the observation tower. Kraken's over there too somewhere, and then we have a crane here for Infinity Falls. This is going to be interesting kind of walking into SeaWorld as a pedestrian because pedestrian access isn't the easiest thing when it comes to theme parks. But let's do it. I'm excited. So I've run out of sidewalk, so I am crossing the street here towards Discovery Cove. I guess I should have just stayed on that side of the street back there. Oh, it's loud. Oh, neat. The Discovery Cove logo is like a dolphin with the person swimming next to it. That's cool. I've been inside Discovery Cove once, not the park, but I did drop somebody off in the parking lot back there. All right, now we're walking this way. What an adventure. I always feel so guilty when I cross the street and I make everybody kind of wait like an extra 30 seconds before they get the green light to go. Uh, but this is just me having a good day today. I'm on my phone, not even on my special little vlogging camera. You guys are getting the raw me right now with my Gatorade and a sense of adventure. And I'm excited. Don't you guys like I always say I'm excited every time I just don't know how to end what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm pointing at a little tiki hut over there in Discovery Cove and then there's SeaWorld. You can kind of see the top of Shamu's Happy Harbor and the, uh, the observation tower. I tell you what though, this walkway that I'm on right now, this is actually really serene. Over there you can see the main SeaWorld parking entrance. That's where you go to park if you have a car. If you don't and you're like me, you walk this way. All right, so I can't go that way because there's no sidewalk, so I pretty much have to go around the entire perimeter of SeaWorld to get around to the back where the actual parking lot is, and then I can walk in through the parking lot and then through the front entrance. All right, still walking straight. You can see the tops of the blue toll booths over there. That's where you pay for the parking. I'm gonna go up to this intersection right here and then cut across, and then that's the Renaissance Hotel right there. I can go right across from that and I'll be in the parking lot. All right, I am crossing Central Florida Parkway again, and here we go, SeaWorld. You can see a little walking person sign, so I'm going the right way. I'm sorry that it's so bouncy, by the way. Uh-oh. Yikes, that's no good. Uh, sorry it's bouncy again. I'm on my phone, so I'm just kind of walking and talking as I pull it out and film some stuff. I also don't really have any storage on this, so I'm trying to connect to the iCloud for the first time. I've never really taken advantage of that, so... Today is a day for firsts, and just walking around the entire perimeter of SeaWorld, basically, like I went around the entire back of, because where I started over there to get my oil changed, that's like right by Mako, which is in the back of the park. So I had to come all the way around, and then I'm gonna go in right there and walk across the parking lot. This is what I was pointing to, by the way. This is the, really the exit for cars out of the parking lot for SeaWorld, but that's the main entrance right over there. You can see Mako sticking up over the top, Back there, that's where I started, all the way on the other side there. That is where cars would normally come in after paying for parking. That is the exit, one of, I believe, two or three. And I'm heading right over there. You can see kind of a reasonably less amount of people here uh, since the Seven Seas Food Festival is now over. But I don't know, I still like SeaWorld. These are my favorite days when like half the parking lot is empty because that means half the amount of people are in the park which is not as great for SeaWorld, but it's doubly as great for me. Whew. Okay, made it to SeaWorld. That was a long walk, man. That took about, about 40 minutes from the very back of SeaWorld all the way around to the front entrance. About 40 minutes, wow. Okay, I am inside SeaWorld successfully. And wow, they are, I didn't notice this when I was here last week. Was this here last week? They are like, Adding on. The Sesame Street characters are about to have 10 times a bigger influence on the, uh, the SeaWorld parks here. They are getting their own land over where the uh, Shameless Happy Harbor used to be, which I'm okay with, but I'm also kind of bummed out about. Oh wow, they are like really jumping on the, uh, the SeaWorld hype train. Was this here last week either? I don't remember because they just announced uh, their Sesame Place coming to the Shamus Happy Harbor area like a couple days ago so I don't know how recent this stuff is. Looks like on the other side of the Emporium they're building something up there too. That looks pretty new. You know I don't really know where to go because the Seven Seas Food Festival is now over. You can't go this way anymore. You gotta go the long way which is okay with me because then you get to see a lot 
cooler sights that otherwise you'd miss. That little baby dolphin is hanging out with the little baby. You know, I haven't really come over here since they redid this part of the area, but you can now come over here and get a little look at the dolphins from down here. I think this is mostly for kids, but yeah, that's where you'd go if you want to get a little up close and personal look at the little dolphins. There goes the sky tower all the way up to the top. And uh, wow, there are just so few people here today. This is just such a drastic change than it was last weekend. So there is one thing that I can't resist doing since I am here which is gonna be Mako, since I'm getting my oil changed pretty much right back there. I'm gonna try to see when I get up to the top, if I can look down and see where I'm getting my oil changed over there. I'm gonna see if it's like inside the garage yet, if it's still in the parking lot, and then I'll know when I need to head back, I guess. So for the record, I could not see the place that I was getting my oil changed back there because it was a hotel that was in the way, but I just got a phone call that said my car is ready to be picked up. So I guess I'm gonna go pick up my car. I think I'm gonna walk the long way around though so I can go by um, Shamu's Happy Harbor though, and then I'll head out and then I'll head back around and that'll probably take a little bit. I didn't mean for the only thing that I did today to be Mako, but it is a pretty darn good coaster. I like it more and more and more each time I do it. It's just really fun and fast and bouncy. No really crazy inversions. There are no inversions in this one, but it feels like it. You go sideways a lot, which is, you know, just as exhilarating. Here it comes, here it comes. Whoa, look at him go. So there's Mako over there. And then over here is a much clearer look at what I was trying to look at. Uh, last week, this building that they're building right here. No idea what it's gonna be, but it's gonna be there. It looks like some sort of like observation area, but for what? I don't know. This is a really tall crane over here for Infinity Falls. Every time I walk this way, I feel like it's more and more narrow. <laughs> There's nobody there. I'm like all alone, I feel like, at SeaWorld today. I'm not, but I feel like it. Okie dokie exiting out of the blue narrow tunnel I'm heading over there into Happy Harbor right on the other side of those pumps that's where I was walking that's Discovery Cove over there and I walked all the way around the park and I've walked a lot today so when Brennan and I came for the 70s food festival we went this way all the way around the Happy Harbor but I'm gonna try to go this way to see if I can yeah looks like I can there's nobody over here but it's not closed off I Lamented my sadness with Happy Harbor closing in the last SeaWorld video, but it looks like this is it. This is it for good. They are closing this down to make way for a sesame place, I guess. Okay, so you have to come up here to the Shamu Stadium area, and then you have to go back down, I guess. So you can't use that main sidewalk down there. And right down there, that's where the uh, Shamu photo op is that I, that I like, that I talk about a lot. Um, but that's it, that is Shamu's Happy Harbor. Looks like it's closed. In the concept art, you can actually see the Shamu roller coaster in the back. You can see that as part of the concept art for Sesame Place, whatever they're building over here. That is gonna open in 2019, by the way, which let's be honest, that is pretty ambitious. SeaWorld really pumps things out really fast and really well. They did with Mako, they're doing it with Infinity Falls, they're gonna do it with Sesame Place. I know they're gonna have a parade in there and characters and all sorts of stuff. But I, I didn't think that would that would happen until like 2021, 20, 20, 2022. I, I don't I don't know. They never really gave a time frame on it in the first place when they announced it. And now it's coming. And I'm never going to get to climb up in those fun little ropes again. Unless they incorporate it in the new land, which they probably won't. But still hoping. Cross my fingers. All right. Still walking along this relatively empty path across the relatively empty bridge to make it over there to the front of the park because I've got to go pick my car up. So now Bayside Stadium is going to be pretty unoccupied until like... Christmas, I'm guessing. And I really need to go up in the Sky Tower soon. I do want to check out some construction, but I'm probably going to wait until Brennan can join me just so I don't have to do that by myself. 
I would, but it'd be cool if she was there too, if I had a, if I had a buddy, you know? Same with the little festival village over there. Nobody's gonna be over there until, uh, I guess, well, Halloween, probably. Once again, it looks like I'm leaving without <laughs> going over to Kraken or to Antarctica or to Atlantis or that area. Uh, why do I keep doing this? I keep walking into this particular plant. It looks like I will have to designate a majority of the chunk of next SeaWorld's trip to go to Atlantis and Kraken and Antarctica, that whole area, as well as hopefully going up in the Sky Tower back over there. Also, something else is something over here I want to show you. Right over here, they have a little chart that shows you what you can ride depending on your heights. And a lot of these, like Shameless Happy Harbor, Shameless Happy Harbor, that's not really here anymore. But there's nothing over here that says that anything in Shameless Happy Harbor is closed today. Like when Kraken went down to get its VR upgrade, which it doesn't have anymore as far as I'm aware, like they put a sign up front saying that Kraken was not available. Same with Atlantis. Like when Kraken went down for its VR overlay, which they don't really do anymore, uh, they put a sign up there that said it's not available today. Same with Atlantis when that went down for a refurbishment. They put a sign that says you can't experience, uh, experience this today. Nothing about uh, Happy Harbor, which is interesting because like there's only like one thing in there that people can actually ride. Still as a quick reference, there's the lighthouse right over there. And I'm walking across this empty parking lot over there. And then I'm gonna go down this way and then take that road pretty much all the way down. So yeah, it kind of like curves around a little bit. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I thought this would be easier, but I'm glad that I did it. And I'm glad I'm getting my exercise today because Lord knows I need it. Okay, there is the SeaWorld exit right there. So I just need to make my way down this road, cross over. And I told you this already, but I'm lonely and I need to update somebody. Just as another point of reference, if you go to this road here, right out of SeaWorld, if you go left, then you go right, that's I-4, right over there. And uh, that's how you get to like Disney. And if you go back that way, that's how you get to Universal. SeaWorld's kind of like in the middle of Universal and Disney. So it's a nice way to kind of like remember that. Now it's Disney, SeaWorld, Universal. Woo, just crossed the road just in time. Now I just gotta go this way for like a mile. One thing that I really do appreciate about SeaWorld is that right next to it is a lot of like undeveloped or abandoned land like back there there's an abandoned golf course and and i don't know it's just it's so weird to me that there's sea world right here and then nothing right here because this would drive universal nuts all right i am passing by one of my checkpoints here the sea world parking entrance which means i'm getting close we got discovery cove up on the right and then i guess i'm almost there got taco bell got wendy's kfc a little bit sad that I use those to determine where I am around here, but I do. You might be able to hear this. But that is the Discovery Cove area music. I like that. You can also hear the bamboo like crackling and I don't like that because that's kind of scary. All right, now instead of crossing here like I did last time, I'm just going to stay on this side of the road. And there's the Discovery Cove sign. Never really been this close to this, so that's cool. And we're in the final stretch now. There's Taco Bell. That's more important, isn't it? What is that? Is that supposed to be something? Is that from a park? There goes Mako. I just did that. And it looks like they're doing some sort of construction up here. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to cross the road and then come back over or what? Because where I need to go is on this side of the road. I don't know. Uh-oh. Okay. I'll figure this out somehow. Yeah, they completely uh, blocked off that sidewalk over there. So I'm gonna have to come down here and then cross over here and then go back. Cool. All right, I crossed. There's Mako again over there and Kraken and the Sky Tower and all of SeaWorld. I'm just gonna go up here, turn right, and I'll be back. Right there is the Wendy's I was talking about. And then here's the KFC. And then right in front of me is the place I just got my oil changed. So let's go pay for that, I guess, and hop in the car. All right, I don't mind walking around every now and then, but man, it is nice to be back in my car. Woo! That was fun, but now it's uh, five o'clock almost on the dot, which means I have to deal with this wonderful traffic, which is not great over here by SeaWorld. But thank you guys for coming with me, letting me do something like really casual like that. I was not planning to do that today at all, let me tell you what. But you know the spontaneous kind of experiences? I think those are the, the most viable ones to document here, so. Thanks for coming with me to SeaWorld, just kind of walking in, doing Mako, walking around to see Shamu's Happy Harbor, 
and then leaving. Pretty much exactly what I did a week ago, but I'm glad I did it there instead of just kind of waiting around here for two hours on my phone, right? Might as well be active and productive and have a good time. And I did. Make it was awesome. Okay, have a good day, guys. And I believe the next thing you're going to get to see here is I'm going back to Gainesville. I went there a couple weeks ago to visit Dennis to take his graduation pictures, but now it's time for his actual graduation. So I'm going to be going to that. Um, Brennan is coming too. Going to meet up with Travis, his wife Christine, my parents. Just going to be an awesome, fun little weekend for Dennis. And it's going to be cool to see that for him. So I'm proud of him for that. I'm looking across the street at Mako right there. That's really what made me decide to go to SeaWorld. I was just sitting here and I was like, SeaWorld is right there. And I did it. Okay, have a good day. Goodbye.